This video is going to be on the second cause of erythroid hypoplasia, which is myelosuppression. And with myelosuppression, there's some sort of injury to the bone marrow. So this includes drugs, infectious agents, and toxins. Now these agents can either affect all cell lines, so injure red cell, neutrophil, and platelet precursors, or they can just affect red cell precursors. I'll first talk about the generalized marrow insults and then go into selective red cell suppression. So this includes various different drugs. Estrogen is um, commonly seen in animals that are being treated for urinary incontinence or in animals that have tumors that are producing and secreting high levels of estrogen. A major side effect of most of the chemotherapeutic agents that we use is myelosuppression, and that's because a lot of our chemotherapeutic agents are, are used to destroy or kill rapidly dividing cancer cells, but they aren't specific for cancer cells. They destroy any rapidly dividing cell, including hematopoietic precursors. There's lots of other different drugs that can do this less commonly. Phenylbutazone or bute is known to do this in dogs, cats, and horses, but there's lots of different drugs that you'll learn throughout your veterinary education. Infectious agents that can do this include feline leukemia virus, or FELV. It can cause decreased production of all cell lines, but it can also cause selective erythroid suppression as well. Parvoviruses in most of our veterinary species can do this, and you most recently learned about this in your case-based learning session in a puppy that had severe um, GI upset or diarrhea. Ehrlichia canis, this is a bacterial infection of mononuclear cells. With chronic Ehrlichia canis infection, it can cause aplastic anemia or myelosuppression of all cell lines, red cells, neutrophils, and platelets. There's lots of different plants that are toxic to the bone marrow, and this is most commonly a, a problem in our large animal species, and that's because they're out on pasture and grazing different areas, and they can be exposed to these myelotoxic plants. One of the more well-known one is bracken fern tox toxicity in cattle. Okay, so now I'll go on to the agents that cause selective erythroid suppression. So just decreased production of red cells without affecting neutrophils or platelets. Now, feline leukemia virus, or FELV, that can cause just suppressed production of red cells. And often these cats also have a macrocytosis. So the MCV can be really high in these cats without there being regeneration. There can also be immune-mediated destruction of red cell precursors. So there's actually immune attack of any stage of red cell precursors and this results in a non-regenerative immune-mediated hemolytic anemia. Lead toxicity can only affect red blood cells. This causes a non-regenerative anemia, and you'll often see an inappropriate metarubrocytosis, so increased numbers of nucleated red cells without a regenerative response. Okay, so that's it for this video. The next video will pick up with myelopthesis.